This is the second part of the video of mathematical representation of phase difference. In this video, I will show you how to draw the sine wave with different phases. After that, I will show you how do we represent the sine wave in a complex plane. So at first, let's say I have an equation, voltage equation, V equal to 1.5 sine omega t plus 30 degree now if I have to sketch or draw this waveform how do we draw that see here the initial phase of the alternating quantity is positive phi is equal to plus 30 degree this indicates that if I have this Cartesian coordinates coordinate system I will take the voltage in y axis here you will see in the x axis I have taken the angle by an amount of 30 degree 0 30 60 90 and here minus 30 minus 60 minus 90 minus 120 just like this okay now you'll see in the y-axis i'm taking the magnitude as 0 0.51 1.50 1 minus po minus 0.5 minus 1 minus 1.5 here as the initial phase is equal to plus 30 degree this indicates that the origin of the voltage will be 30 degree ahead of the reference axis this is our reference axis and see this is our origin w that means with respect to this origin the origin of the voltage will be 30 degree ahead that means the origin of this alternating voltage will be at this point okay after that from this point to 90 degree i will get the positive maximum value of this alternating voltage so if i consider this as our origin i have to move in this direction to get the 90 degree see this is our origin so this is 0 degree 0 30 60 90 angular displacement between this point to this point is 90 degree and at this point our alternating voltage will have its positive maximum okay so from this point after 90 degree i will get the zero point 0 30 60 90 here you will see here the alternating quantity will have zero value and the angular displacement between this point to this point is see this is 150 and this is minus 30 so angular displacement will be 180 degree now from this point to 90 degree i will get the negative maximum see this is 150 so this is 0 30 60 90 that means at 240 i will get the negative maximum and the negative maximum will be minus 1.5 up from this point to another 90 degree i will get the zero value 0 30 60 90 so these will be the four points of our alternating quantity so this will be our alternating voltage okay see at the angle minus 30 degree it will be its origin at the angle 60 degree it will attain its positive maximum plus 1.5 after that at the angle 150 degree it will have zero value after that at the angle 240 it will attain its negative maximum minus 1.5 and at the angle 330 it will get its second zero point now let's say i have an alternating current i equal to 1 sine omega t minus 60 degree and i have to draw this waveform see here the initial phase of the current is equal to minus 60 degree that means the origin of this alternating current will be 60 degree left or 60 degree behind from the reference axis see this will be our reference axis in the y axis i will consider current and in the x axis i will take the omega t okay so our origin will be at this point see in the y axis i am considering the current at a displacement of 0.5 okay and in the x axis i am considering the omega t at a displacement of 30 degree as the angle is minus 60 degree therefore we have to locate the origin of this i at this point okay after that from this point to 90 degree our alternating current will have its positive maximum so this is our origin 0 30 60 90 at 150 degree our alternating quantity will have its positive maximum from this point to another 90 degree our alternating quantity will have its first zero value see 0 30 60 90 
30, 60, 90. Okay. So from this point to another 90 degree, our alternating quantity will have its negative maximum. See, 0, 30, 60, 90. So at this point, our alternating quantity will have its minus 1. And from this point to another 90 degree, I will get 0. Okay. So 0, 30, 60, 90. So this will be our four points. So these four will be our points. 0, positive maximum. 0, negative maximum and 0. Now, if I join these four waveforms, I will get our alternating current I here. So, this will be our alternating current. So, when our initial phase will be positive, you have to start the waveform from the left side of the reference axis when the initial phase will be negative you have to start the origin from the left side of the waveform now let me represent the sinusoidal quantity in a complex plane you see when we have a sine theta higher, if i add a 90 degree with it we get cosine theta if we add 180 degree with it we get minus sine theta now see with respect to this sine theta if I rotate by an angle minus 90 degree I will get minus cosine theta or with respect to the position of sine theta if I rotate minus 180 degree I will get minus sine theta and this is how we made a complex plane let's say i have this four coordinate system this line indicates the position of sine theta therefore if i rotate in counterclockwise direction our angle will be positive and if i rotate in and if i rotate in clockwise direction our produced angle will be minus theta see this is the position of sine theta now if i rotate an angle of 90 degree from the sine theta position you will see this line will represent sine theta plus 90 degree and sine theta plus 90 degree will be equal to cosine theta okay now see if i rotate another 90 degree from this point that means i am traveling total 180 degree with respect to this sine theta so this line will indicate sine theta plus 180 degree because I am rotating in in counterclockwise direction and sine theta plus 180 degree will represent minus sine theta now you will see this is the position of sine theta if I rotate 90 degree in clockwise direction the produced angle will be negative therefore as this is sine theta if I rotate by an amount of 90 degree in clockwise direction this will be minus sine theta so this line will indicate the position of sine theta minus 90 degree therefore this will be equal to minus cos theta so i can use a four coordinate system like this this is sine omega t or sine theta this is cos theta and this is minus sine theta and this is minus cosine theta to represent our alternating quantity in a phase or form let's say i have an equation v equal to 2 sine omega t plus 30 degree how do we represent this waveform in this complex phasor you will see at first i have to write the voltage in terms of phasor if i write it in in terms of phasor i will get to phase angle plus 30 degree see this is the sine omega t plus 30 degree and this is the sine omega t axis so if i want to get plus 30 degree i have to rotate 30 degree in counterclockwise direction let's say this is that 30 degree and here i can represent the voltage v with magnitude 1.5 that means the with magnitude 2 that means the magnitude of the radius vector of the voltage phasor will be 2 okay so this is the basic of mathematical representation of phasor okay that's it thank you